Hello Mercedes friend, welcome back to Diesel Mercedes channel. Welcome back to this 1987 golden Mercedes. I was thinking for a while about removing these headlights wipers because they are just hanging here. As you can see it's all damaged definitely misaligned look in the other one it's just a joke so actually if it will do something it will start scratching the headlight and so on so I will be removing those and if you want to see how it's done just stay with me in this video and I will start with using socket 8 mm socket to undo this little nut Okay, and trying to pull that wiper off. It actually uh, gave up pretty easily, so that was cool. The next step I will disconnect this water hose, the spray hose, which is right here. And I will continue with undoing this 8mm screw. Moving that trim shows me the detail of that hose attached to this sprayer so I will unhook that on the back side in the next step I will reach behind uh, uh, this blinker or turn light and pulling on that plastic lever it will help me to release it and move forward that was the lever which released it and now I'm having access to the bolts, two bolts which are holding that headlight one, two and actually here is the third one on the other side right here it's again eight millimeter bolts all three of them so I will remove those and that gives me chance carefully move that light headlight out of the way I kept trying to move it around and finally I found position which uh, let me to remove it and here we go you can see the first detail this is the motor which I'm trying to get rid of right because I don't really need it and here you can see how it looks underneath here you can see the area underneath uh, the light behind again it's a great opportunity to go ahead and vacuum or another little detail of how this little trim the trim underneath the headlight is attached of course uh, before putting the headlight back I'm also removing the water source and I will pull out that one-way valve and get rid of that entire hose. I don't want to have any leaks here. It looks like that motor assembly it's held or attached to the headlight by this 17 millimeter nut. So I will remove that and I should be able, if I'm correct, should be able to slide the whole motor away. And you, here you got it. That's what it is. Bosch motor is the hardware. And here is how the headlight looks without it. Perfect. Here is the detail of that connection and that clip and the way I will have to remove it to squeeze it basically so I was able easily to remove it to squeeze those two sides of course it's older so one of the sides unfortunately broke well what can we do I will remove this one-way well and it's leaking of course immediately so I'm putting temporary plaque this will work perfect so I can move 
that line away from here. And I'm already looking here and slowly, carefully pulling it away because I really don't want to leave it there. There's no reason for it to stay there. So I'm taking it away, pulling it away. Oh, good, good. It's like a red bite in it anyway. This is all bad. And I don't need it. And I'm actually able to pull it all the way out nicely here and I can see that the motor for the headlights it's actually the rear one this is for the windshield and this is the rear one so for this moment I will leave it here and I will plug it later so as I said now I will go ahead clean it and I will install it the using the uh, reverse technique and I will show you how it looks without it and here you go, here are the results on the driver's side that's how it looks I'm sure it was worth it that it's so much more aerodynamic that I will save at least what, few miles per gallon anyway, that was just a little project, I know it's not really great looking because these openings but it was just driving me crazy hanging there okay thanks for watching and stay tuned I have way more videos coming your way have a nice day guys